The scandal known as VatiLeaks that shook the hierarchy of the Catholic Church has been a long story with many details. Here is a look back at how it all started and where the case stands now. On January 25th, the Italian television program known as The Untouchables first revealed the letters written by the Vatican official Monsignor Carlo Maria Vigano, in which he complained to the Pope that many of the construction and work projects paid by the Holy See were being charged much more than a normal price. He was right, but his complaints upset many inside the Roman Curia. In response, the Pope decided to send Vigano to the United States as a nuncio. Afterward, in another letter, he asked the Pope that his new position not be seen as a retaliation. He then named some of those who opposed his management of the Vatican State. The next day, on January 26th, the Vatican spokesperson Federico Lombardi made a statement expressing his bitterness over the release of classified documents and left open the possibility of legal action. Then, 21 days later, on February 14th, was when Father Lombardi first referred to the scandal as VatiLeaks. The following days were filled with confusion and silence from the Vatican. Then, on April 24th, Benedict XVI formally created an investigative committee that included Cardinals Harans, Tomko, and De Giorgi. They were put in charge of finding out exactly where these leaks came from and who was involved. On May 19th, there was a second round of leaked documents with the release of the book The Secret Papers of Benedict XVI. It was written by the Italian journalist Gialugi Nunzi, and it reveals around 100 documents that came directly from the Pope's desk. On May 23rd, nearly one month after the Commission of Cardinals was created, the butler of the Pope, Paolo Gabriele, was arrested by the Vatican police. While searching his home, which is located inside the Vatican, they found a cache of confidential documents. Gabriele was then charged with aggravated robbery. A few days later, the Pope himself finally addressed the issue. Si sono moltiplicate tuttavia i lazioni, amplificate da alcuni mezzi di comunicazione del tutto gratuite e che sono andate ben oltre i fatti, offrendo un'immagine della Santa Sede che non risponde alla realtà. Desidero per questo rinnovare la mia fiducia e il mio incoraggiamento ai miei più stretti collaboratori e a tutti coloro che quotidianamente, con fedeltà, spirito di sacrificio e nel silenzio, mi aiutano nell'adempimento del mio ministero. Many observers believe VatiLeaks was meant to discredit the Secretary of State, Cardinal Tarsicio Bertone. It was followed by many public calls for his resignation. But then on July 4th, the Pope wrote a letter expressing his full confidence in Bertone. Between June 5th and July 21st, the butler was interrogated a total of three times. Gabriele was held in a Vatican jail cell up until July 21st before being released under house arrest. Three days later on July 24th, Gabriele's lawyer said he had sent a letter to the Pope asking forgiveness and saying he had acted alone with no outside pressure. On July 26th, the Commission of Cardinals, along with the prosecutor and judge in the case, traveled to the Pope's vacation home in Castile Gandolfo. There they met with Benedict XVI to discuss the results of the investigation. They will soon move forward with their decision, and if convicted, Gabriele could face up to six years in an Italian prison. <laughs>